So in this video, we're going to show you how to do spectrophotometry using the LabQuest device. Now, what is spectrophotometry? Basically, in a nutshell, is that the machine will measure the amount of light that gets absorbed. Okay, And what we can do mathematically is relate absorbance of light to the concentration that we have in our sample. Now, according to Beer's Law, the more concentrated your solution, the more light it should absorb. So you would expect a direct relationship between absorbance and concentration. So when you get these values and you actually plot it in Excel, you should expect a positive slope where as absorbance increases, concentration should also increase. So that's spectrophotometry in a nutshell. Um, the first thing that we want to do is we want to blank our machine. And what that basically means is there's a lot of background noise. There's a lot of stuff um, that we wanted to ignore. All of our solutions are dissolved in water, but we don't want the absorbance of water. So we're going to specifically blank using water. So, so right now I'm going to grab the blank from the wooden test tube holder. So that is our blank. It's a cuvette marked with B. And before putting any cuvette into a SpectroViz device, you want to wipe it to make sure that there aren't any interferences with the light source in the actual cuvette. And now I'm going to calibrate it. So once you see this screen, after hitting a couple of buttons, you know that it is now done in terms of the calibration. So this is a video about spectrophotometry right after the blank. So I've calibrated the machine and as you can see, the reading should be somewhere very close to zero. If it's fluctuating um, within this small range, it's okay, you know, the reasons due to instrument, vibrations, shadows, moving the light. So at this point, we are ready to go. The first thing that you have to do that's really important is you have to select the correct wavelength for your sample. We're going to do the red sample right now, so the wavelength we want to select for is 500 nanometers. So that's what I'm going to do. So in this window, it's prompting me to select the wavelength. I'm typing in 500. And I'm going to hit OK. So we are back to this screen, and now the rest is actually really simple. We're just going to literally plug and play. We're going to take our blank out. We're going to grab the R1 cuvette, and again, you want to make sure you wipe the cuvette before putting it into the SpectroViz. We're going to insert R1, and we're going to record our value. So right now, I see a value of 0.844. It keeps fluctuating a bit. But that's what I'm basically seeing, 0.844. Then I'm going to take R1 out. I'm going to take R2. Again, you want to wipe the cuvette to make sure there aren't any scratches or anything that could interfere with the light path. Put that in. And I'm going to get a reading of 0.434, 435, around there. And as you see, the number went down. So according to the last video, we should expect this because we know R2 should have a lower concentration than R1. Mm -hmm. And now, originally the students will now do R3 and R4, but instead uh, you'll just refer to the complete data set that will be provided so that you can determine your R values for absorbance.